Hello, Cookie Fresh with Roxanne, and it's Sunday! Sunday oftentimes means the end of the week, but the beginning of a new week, and maybe even the end of one part of your budget and the beginning of another, meaning you're going through the freezer again, and that's great! So I'm going to show you a great way to save money, have a great tasting meal, and use my brand new Dutch oven. I got this great Dutch oven set. We're going to use um, a four quart Dutch oven for this. And let me show you how this is going to be done. And again, this is cooking fresh. None of this has been processed at a factory, um, other than the chicken that was cut in pieces. Not at a factory, at a supermarket. But. It's going to be a nice fresh meal. You don't have to call DoorDash. Don't have to pay Grubhub. None of those people. Just go to the store, get the ingredients, and let's get started. Here's what we're doing today. Chicken legs. Very inexpensive little cut. Those legs there, I'm going to take them over to the stove here. And I'm going to saute them with some of those lovelies. And then, potatoes. So here we go. As I'm sauteing the chicken and getting that together, I'm going to get it prepared. It's going to take about 5 or 10 minutes at least to really get it sizzling up enough that I'm comfortable uh, putting it in the oven where it's going to continue cooking for at least another hour and a half. Once I get it cooked up enough, take it out of the oven, cool it down, take the chicken off the bone. And I'll be cutting it into little pieces and taking the skin off, taking the bones out, all that good stuff. Because ultimately what I want to do is have it along with the water and a little bouillon I'm going to put in there. Make a nice little gravy situation. Because at that point, when it cooks down in about an hour and a half and I'm able to cut all these different bits and pieces out, is I'll reintroduce the potatoes into it. Mm. So, might actually put the potatoes in that towards the end to get them started, and then when they're still kind of solid, pull them out. Of course, peel them. <laughs> that would make a mess. Pull them out, set them aside, uh, clean the meat off the chicken, and uh, then put that all back together in in the uh, gravy mixture. I just never like to add a potato to the situation with this chicken until the chicken has actually cooked down. You know, cook down enough that I know any of the, um, you know, you know, it's just got to cook down. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it too much. Okay, let's see what this. Oh, it doesn't look good. Now he's chicken to the pan. You love that sizzle. The most important part of it is the sizzle. Because that's actually creating caramelization. You want that. We are not just adding color to the outside of it before you put it in the oven. Start cooking through that. Oops, sorry about that. See that? You're adding color. That adds flavor. It actually has like a hug to it. Sorry, I look at showing the chicken. <laughs> I can be a dork when I'm using one hand and the other, but again, though, take a look at this guy right here. See? He's getting a little caramelized. It's going to need more salt. I'm going to put a little bit more pepper. Now let's add some flavor. This isn't a real complicated meal either, I might add. I didn't want it to be. I wanted it to showcase chicken. Very few ingredients. And the fact that the Dutch oven mix is so easy to work with. Literally, it's the one pan. You can even go to the table and serve. But with a wooden or a plastic chicken. Otherwise, it hurts the Finish with the Dutch pepper. Oh, yummy. Flavor Town's going in, as Gary Fieri would say. Flavor Town, baby. I'm going to add on this carrot. I rough cut it. I didn't want it to be I did not want it to be little tiny pieces. I wanted it to be bigger chunks. I really did. If that way, you get a lot more flavor throughout the chicken. And now it's a better flavor for you. Tastes better. Now what I'm going to do right now 
It's gonna take. It's gonna take some down. Okay, so it's all simmering away there. Secret Chinese recipe. We get about. This is just kind of what makes it easy. Cooking fresh doesn't have to be cooking complicated. That's about a tablespoon and a half. Ah, jeez. Just go over here and we'll do it. Like that. Oh, cool. It's okay. I'm going to put that down in there. And get some water in it. So it actually begins to kind of. See that? I'm getting that down in there. Mixing it up. Uh-oh. Need more water. Water. Uh. Okay, there it goes. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's nice. Kind of mix it around. These guys are kind of stuck on the bottom. That's fine. I want them to get... You know what that means? That means there's yet more flavor going down there. Oh yeah. If you're getting stuck to the bottom of the pan, we're getting more golden yum yum. So. Oh lord. It's simple, but it smells delicious. Now, I've got the oven heated right now to 350. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to time it out to be about uh, an hour, hour and 20 minutes. I'll be checking it periodically to find out if the meat's pulling off the bone. When it gets to that point, pulling it out, cooling it down. Pulling the bones and the skin off, cutting up the meat, um, putting a little potato with it that's been chunked up first before I pull it out of the oven. Pull the potatoes aside, put them back in, make a nice solid, you know, chicken and potato with gravy built in dinner. I'm going to serve this with the coleslaw on the side, a little tart, along with the creamy. Yummy. This is Cooking Fresh with Roxanne. Thank you so much. And remember our sponsors, LifeWave. LifeWave is doing amazing things for my complexion. Can't complain. And Avon. It's free to join Avon. Take advantage of the Avon perks. Uh, get up to 25 and even 40% off when you buy Avon products for yourself and your family. Or if you want to make a business out of it, even better. Pay $25 to join and become an Avon representative and get up to $100 worth of products. They'll send you brochures, magazines, there's an Avon University, and don't forget 15% off with your Avon perks. And LG, Avon's on my LG, so they keep sending me these emails, 40% off LG appliances. How could that be bad? Anyway, love you guys. This is uh, Kicking Fresh with Roxanne. You have a blessed day, and thanks so much.